Hi, I'm Ye Ling. I'm a watch avid collector and I love watches. I first started collecting watches is when my husband first gave me the ladies Cartier Cento 100 that was on the year 2007 which actually marked the birth of my daughter. Uh, my first watch ever was when I was 13. My dad gave me this and I love the Roman's words on it. This is, I will say that it's a semi-formal watch which is a gold laser with a leather stripe which is something very special during my time. When I was in Italy, Milan, uh, we went for watch shopping and I was so surprised they offered me this Daytona watch. We are walking on the dark street in Milan. Someone came from behind and just dropped my parcel bag away and then my husband uh, ran after the thief close to 15 minutes. Just, we were, everyone was yelling and shouting and then uh, we got uh, people from the civilian people who actually helped us to stop the ladies. I'm so lucky that I could get it back these watches. And right now, today, this watch is a very simple, but it's actually right now is a very hot and popular. My most bourgeois watch is this 5650, and it's a worldwide production, it was only 450. And I, I find that I'm one of the very lucky ones who got this. This is a sports watch with a rubber stripe. It's also a very easy put on day to day watch. And because this watch is have a half open concept, and that's, I think, part it really make this watch in the Aquanaut range. My everyday go-to watch, I will say uh, 571 Blue and it's very light in weight and easy to carry. I love the handicraft of it because it's very smooth and well polished. The watch that received the most compliments is 5990 Blue and this was actually a very nice uh, combination with my favourite colour, Blue and Rose Gold and it has a very solid weight on it. Actually, a lot of people love the blues because um, it's this continued model in 5711 blue. So everybody um, have this craze over this watch. For watch collecting, it depends on what you like. Collecting watches, for me, I want to buy something that I can wear and put on every day and I can enjoy it. I will recommend that uh, you buy some brands that is actually reputable. If my watch can appreciate and can wear it and I can put on every day, that's the most enjoyable journey to collect a watch. Actually, talk about investment, that depends on what you actually really like. Find that it's like, watch actually can keep the value of it and I can pass down to my next generation. 5711 in Green Dow is actually my most treasured right now at the moment because it's the production is only one year production and nobody knows exactly how many pieces Patit made. In my opinion, this watch is the creme de la creme in the Patit series. 